Hey there guys, in this video I wanted to show you a list of extensions which I have put together to kind of make GNOME 40 feel a little more comfortable for people who are coming from GNOME 3.3x releases. Now, there are some major differences between uh, GNOME 3 and GNOME 40, and we are going to go over the list of GNOME 40 changes. As an example, when we go to our little dash here, we can see that it's on the bottom. We also have all of our workspaces in the overview to look at. Um, when we go to our applications menu, it is a whole menu in and of itself, and it shows the workspaces on the top yet again. So let's go ahead and go over the extensions that I decided to use to make this feel a little more like GNOME 3. All right, now let's go ahead and turn this on. And as you can see, we already have some minor differences in our desktop already. So starting with the most obvious change is the desktop icons or ding extension. This is an extension that also comes with Ubuntu. So if we right click on our desktop, you can see that we have very typical menus from a context menu, but we also have our desktop icon settings. And we can do a lot from here. We can make our icons tiny. We can make them large. I usually keep them on small. We can show a trash icon on our desktop, which I usually keep disabled. Um, we can show external drives on the desktop. We have a lot of options here. I usually keep them to their defaults, but we're going to go on with the next one, and that is App Indicator and Case Status Notifier Item Support. So this is pretty self-explanatory. It just puts a little running application indicator here. So if you have Steam or Discord or an application that has an app indicator, uh, on the top panel, it will show it right here. In fact, I'm going to quit out of, um, what's it called? I forget. We're just going to close out of that. That's flame shot. <laughs> um, now, the next extension I want to show off is a very powerful one and probably the biggest difference. This is vertical overview. So we are just going to go to our overview here. And as you can see, if you were probably untrained to the eye, this looks like the GNOME 3.3x overview. So we have our application overview here. We have our workspace to the right. And we have our dash to the left. Again, we can show icons. And it shows all of our icons um, or applications right there. Uh, we still have our running applications on the bottom, and we have our favorite applications on the top. When we go to the settings of vertical overview, you can see that we have a whole bunch of stuff to play around with. If you are not a fan of that old uh, 3.38 uh, dash icon style, um, you can disable it and you can have your original dash back. You can also turn off the static background so that you can just have a gray screen. You can hide the scaling workspaces. So as you can see, we have our workspaces um, this is usually on by default. Um, we could also customize our dash just a little bit, and there are some miscellaneous options if you use dash to panel. Um, now our last one is something that is my personal preference, and that is add to desktop. So if you go to your applications here, and let's just say you want to add, I don't know, cheese to your desktop, you can do that, and right there is cheese to your desktop. We're just going to remove that. Um, that is pretty much it for what I chose to do uh, in my attempt to make GNOME 40 feel a little more like uh, GNOME 3.3x. Uh, another extension that I personally use is wind tile, so you can get that quarter tiling rather than just uh, half tiling. Um, and another one that I like to use is, where is it, uh, Fildom Glo uh, Global Menu. That's just personal preference. That was never in GNOME in and of itself. Pretty much all this does is, I'm trying to think of a safe folder to open. <laughs> uh, pretty much all this does is uh, add the little global menu to the top, but it doesn't seem to be adding that. But that is about it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope I was of help to you, and you have a nice rest of your day.